Okay, so let's make dinner. <laughs> and I'm using things that are in my pantry. I have a little bit of mozzarella cheese left. This is probably like a cup left. Instead of boiling potatoes, I found a pack of these buttery homestyle mashed potatoes. Um, yeah, if you want to boil potatoes, maybe boil a pound of russet potatoes. I'm just going to add hot water to this with a little bit of salt and pepper. And that's the potato part of this croquette. I'm also going to drain this can of corn. And this is going to be like the potato part of this. And I will season with some seasonings. And for the wet dredge, I'm going to add one large egg, some Japanese mayonnaise because I like it. You could use regular mayo some all-purpose flour and probably season it a little bit and that'll be what I dunk the patty in and then I'm going to use plain panko breadcrumbs for the exterior. So let's get this uh, together. Let's put this together. It's going to be good. In a bowl, I'm going to add, I'm going to do three and a half cups of boiling hot water. I'm also going to add some onion powder, there we go, cracked black pepper, some garlic powder granulated, kind of mix that around. Now I'm going to add in my potatoes. So this is more like three cups of hot water or boiling water that I'm starting with. I don't want these to be super creamy and runny because then it'll be hard to, to shape them into a patty. So you want them on the drier side. You want them to be kind of dry. Oops. And let's just mix that up. Just let it hang out. While it sort of sets and cools, it'll rehydrate and um, kind of cool off before you add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so here I have my drained can of corn. I'm going to add this to the cooled mashed potatoes. Okay, going in with the corn. The cheese. This is just shredded mozzarella cheese. And I'm going to combine this well. And that's it. Some people like to add like an egg yolk in the mix or an egg. I'm going to spare that one egg. <laughs> I think I can get this to uh, into a patty shape just by mixing this. Here in my bowl, I'm going to create the dredge. I'm starting with one large egg. I'm going to add like two tablespoons of mayonnaise. This is a Japanese mayo, it's my favorite, but use what you've got. I'm also going to add um, a little bit of water. I would say I'm starting just with a little bit of water to mix things up. And then I'm gonna add my flour to create like this batter. Go with like a third cup of all-purpose flour. Give that a mix to create a batter. It's kind of like when you make pancakes, the just add water pancakes. You might need to add a little more flour <laughs> to get the right consistency. Go with another third cup of all purpose flour. A little more water. So two thirds cup of all purpose flour, like a half cup of water, one large egg, and two tablespoons of the mayo. That should do the trick. Ultimately, you want that thick pancake batter consistency. Okay, so for the dry, I'm just going with plain panko crumbs. And this will be the crispy crust on the exterior. Okay, so I have my potato, corn, I guess the potato mixture. You don't have to add corn, by the way. You could add other veggies. It's just what I'm doing today. Here's my wet uh, dredge or batter. 
that we made earlier and here's the panko and I'm gonna do my best to do wet hand dry hand so I'm gonna just take the scoop and do um, yeah and then I'm gonna shape it just like that and I'm gonna shape it the best that I can if you have leftover mashed potatoes I mean it might be harder to work with that because it'll be too creamy um, unless they're cold then that works okay we're gonna do a dunk in the wet and let's kind of what I want to do here is kind of let it just um, there we go now we're going over to the panko and then dry hand coat it and then give it a little pat and it's gonna be hard to keep it shape. Just do the best you can. I'm really just trying to get a simple dinner on the table. Here we go. And then onto my baking sheet over here. And then repeat the process for the rest of them. And you can kind of shape it while it's on the pan. There we go. There, and repeat the process. Okay. I'm going to go with, there we go, give it a dredge, a dunk, into the panko, dry hand, Okay, so here I have nine ready to go. And to be quite honest, this will be enough to feed my family today. But for the full, like there's still probably nine more that you can make. So for these ratios that I'm using, you can get like 16 to 18 of uh, these croquettes. Okay, so these are gonna hang out. I'm gonna add some, this is like just vegetable oil. And then I'm gonna let that just preheat and then I'll start cooking these. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is carefully just put one, my oil, I think it should be, yes, there we go. So I'm kind of doing like, it's not a deep fry, I guess this would be considered a shallow fry. Okay, so I manage, I managed to fit uh, seven here in this pan, but you know, if you're doing like a deep fry, well, you can deep fry these. I'm gonna go for several minutes on each side. Essentially, I'm really trying to achieve a golden crispy crust because the center is cooked. I didn't add any egg to the center other than the one egg that went into the wet dredge before the panko, so. Uh, several minutes on each side should do the trick. Um, the temp of the oil is around 350 to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so I'm gonna carefully flip these. Oh, well there you go. It's always hard to, actually, I think I need to bring the pan this way. These don't feel like they're quite ready to flip. I'm gonna go with this one maybe. Yeah, this one's ready. There we go. So I have two more cooking here, but I wanna show you. Five of them came out pretty good. But here's pretty much what happens when you skip two steps, like I did today. I was just in a hurry. I wanted to get dinner on the table, but I didn't add egg to the potatoes and I didn't dredge it in all-purpose flour before dunking it in the wet batter. 
that will help the crust set up a lot better and it won't fall apart when you're frying it. These are gonna taste good once they cool off, but they don't look like much and they don't stay together as well. So, you know, if you really want them to stay together, you wanna make your patty, but before making your patty, you wanna mix one egg into the potato mixture, make your patty, dredge it in all-purpose flour, then dunk it in your wet and then panko. That'll help to keep them together. So, I'm gonna give these a flip. There we go. Kind of cooking these fast. Probably need to turn the temp down. Once these are done, I'll show you what a plate looks like. Okay, so here's dinner. In one bowl, one plate, I'm gonna add just store bought salad dressing. It's like a vinaigrette. And you know what? I'm gonna add one of the hot mess looking croquettes. I get mm, 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 mm. this one kind of came apart too. And there we go. That's dinner. This is the dinner. Um, you can add sauces to the croquette. I like it just like this. Make your salad heartier with like cucumber, tomato, carrot, all that good stuff. But this is it. This is the quick dinner today. Use stuff in my fridge and pantry. And, you know, this is a good meatless meal as well. So there's that. Super good. Okay. Cheers. This is a hot mess one, but it's so good. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.